normally closed switch, uh, just in, in a, without messing with it, it's going to be in a closed circuit state. So that means it's going to be like making this you know, short circuit between the two pins. And so when the, the actuator, you know, the, the plunger pushes the button, then it open circuits the switch. And so that's you know, what the switch does. It's on and off. Okay, but tell us why you want, don't want it to be the other way, because you can set it to be normally open. Um, well, it, different different circuits have different switches. I mean, you, sometimes you want it normally open, sometimes you want it normally yeah. closed. Yeah, it's a safety feature because if it's normally open, then you don't know if the end stop is there at all. So it's a safety feature. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's so it's normally closed, so we know that there's an end stop there. Um, good. So now, okay. Let's put this one on, which we will test this one. So that's the one I took off. Okay. So let's see if we got it. Put our meter back on. on. Well, I'm choosing 2K on, so it's just a low value. Mm -hmm. and then we'll put the so on that here. should go to zero. Now we have zero. Uh huh. So we and got then, the switch. And then went to infinite. Okay, You're so right. that's working. Infinite. Wow. Okay. Okay. Good. So this one works. And <clears throat> so let's put it right on and let's just plug it right in. And now let's redo our test. Where's the other one? Oh, okay. Oh, that's. We checked that one again. That's the right here. Y. Oh, okay. Your what? Y axis. All right, so we're back in. So now let's redo the test and go prepare and auto home and see what we get. Okay, still no motion on the X. Uh, and the Y goes in the wrong direction. So I can I can correct Do they do the, those um, correct movements one at a time? They do mm -hmm. one at a time, yes. Okay. So this is why I reset it. You kind of want to turn power off during this because make sure, right now I reset it so there's no power. But okay, so right now we know at least that we have corrected the, the Y direction, but the X is still not moving. So why is the X not moving? The first thing I would check is, okay, are we plugged in? So this is X. Um, um, so I'll take that out and it looked pretty like it wasn't really plugged in. So mm -hmm. let's uh, plug it in. And that's what I'm saying. These tiny things are sometimes tricky to make sure you have that. Okay, uh, so that's in. Let's try it again. So go go to prepare. Oh, to home. Oh, there we go. Ah. Now we're making a lot of noise here, and here we're. That's the. Z so we did that. X and Y is working. Noisy. So we got to look into what's happening there. Um, I saw it. That's the switch over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, so the end stops are working. Both of them are working. So we got to the Z. The Z started moving, but it wasn't moving. So what's going on? First thing is check the connection once again. Give it, you know, does that power? Okay. Take a look at Z. Z is here. So. What do all those do? Maybe. Okay, let's try it again. Um, so this one, just so we show that this, so even if it's tight like that, those motors are pretty strong, so we're still working. So prepare, auto home. And that behavior was different. So it's something about how I'm connecting things, because that's the only thing I changed. Uh, could be a thing like a bad wire. Typically, the motors are not bad. Wires can, it's easier for wires to be bad. They're more fragile. Yeah, well, let's, let's just see if it's replicable behavior. Because we did some, you know, we did, we got something different going on this time. Mm -hmm. So prepare auto home. Now, see, it's clicking. So first thing I would check is maybe like, okay, maybe that wire is crossed like we, Tom was talking about before. So black, green, blue, red. Black, 
green, blue, red. No, it looks like the same thing. So let's, let's replace the wire and see if we got a bad wire here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? It's the wrong one. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm plugged. In. Oh. <clears throat> so I, what was happening as I was moving the wrong wire? No. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is I'm doing the wrong thing. I'm. This, this that is one's that. wrong. So this is the one you want. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Let's unplug it. Unplug it. Here, you know, let me, let me just try that. Let's, uh, try that. Okay, so suspecting it might be a wire. Let's try another and look at it again. So green, blue, green, red, blue. Looks good. So you want to make sure you, you press reset. I do you want to be turning the power off when you turn plug these things in. Did I say it as I do? Because um. <laughs> the thing is, you you might have forgotten to press the button and it's powered on, and then you might fry the stepper driver. So let's try this once. Let's go again. Now, the other thing is, you notice, like, as soon as I hit click, something starts clicking. Uh, I can tell you what that is. Every time you start a motion, it will lift the Z a little bit to make sure it's not hidden prints. So that's what's happening up front. So it moves the Z up a little bit and does the X, Y, and Z. That's the proper behavior. So, go again, prepare. Oh. Uh, one, two, control. Prepare. Auto home. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nice. It was a bad cable. So where's that cable? This one has the cross in it. Mm. Yeah. Where's that cable that we did? We should take it and label it. Well, this is the one that's bad, but it just it's crossed right there. The, the color plate doesn't oh. match. Okay. So we didn't. If we didn't check, or did we check it? Oh, we didn't see okay, that. So we checked the other we one. Okay. So we label that and make oh, sure. Repin it. Yeah. Yeah. 